So Mass Effect 3 has obviously improved upon its predecessors, but what were some of the major flaws that you highlighted from the second game, and what are you doing to fix them this time around? Um, we wanted to go back and improve the combat style and the customization and, and go back to those core RPG values that a lot of um, Bioware's fans uh, keep coming back to our games for. Uh, so we took the combat to another level and we added combat rules and melee attacks and you know pulling enemies over cover and killing them with your Omni Blade and, and mantling over cover and, and even hop across. Like just all of the exploration and everything has been taken to another level and then we took a lot of those customization in, in your character and your weapons and your armor that we had really great in ME1, we moved away from slightly in ME2, now they're all back and even tweaked further than Mass Effect 1. You can modify your weapons, add scopes, add larger clips, um, your armor as well is, is much more customizable than we saw in Mass Effect 2. The Mass Effect universe has taken a transmedia approach lately, you've got an iOS app, you've got comics, and you've got novels out there, but do you think that they actually really add anything significant to the Mass Effect? Effect universe? Yeah, well, Mass Effect's a huge uh, science fiction franchise, and I think they do. It adds color, and for especially our, our really big fans, um, they want to know as much as they can about Shepard and about all of the different characters that they encounter, and I think that that in, in, um, creates a really enriching environment for those fans. Bioware has an incredibly loyal fan base, and they've invested a whole lot of time into your games. So, what sort of pressure does that put on the development team to really deliver the game that pleases everyone? Yeah, um, we do take a lot of fan feedback into consideration over our forums and different ways they contact us. Um, and so we did hear our fans and that's why we made a lot of the changes. Um, a lot of our developers are just as invested in the franchise, you know, they're working on their little area and won't, won't, won't go to meetings that they talk about spoilers because they don't want to know because they're just inv as invested as all of the fans are. Um, most of the team has been on the team since Mass Effect 1 and want to see it through to the end. Um, they're just as big of fans and are invested in those payoffs and we do listen to our fan feedback as well um, and that does you know there's always pressure you know and and luckily when you're in development and you're on the team you're kind of behind that wall and it's all pressure you put on yourself um, we know that we can make a good game we're invested in the IP we're we're just we're ready to take it all the way through we have the story arc plotted out the whole way and then we just had to deliver on it and we, with the Unreal Engine 3 we were able to refine the combat more we were able to you know really amp up the textures on our art to really give fans the payoff that they're waiting for now the further Mass Effect 3 is going to be the last game to feature Shepard so what's the vibe like in the team of Bioware at the moment is the crew all sad to see him go? I think they're really excited. Everybody has been, you know, pouring a lot of effort into the game, are, are working long hours to make it the best game that it can be, and they really, really want to see Shepard's story end too. They want to play it through and, and see what happens to Shepard and his squadmates just as much as all the fans do.